Thank you. Over here at the display week. Let's check out the displays. We're here with the LG. Which one is transparent OLED? You've never seen this type of the OLED TV before, but this Whoa. is the larger size. Yep. Hi, my name is Li Hong. Hi, welcome to BOE. This is plastic? Yes. Plastic display? Yes. Uh, flexible right here. Uh -huh. um, and this is uh, OLED. Yes. And you can bend it like this. You can bend it like that. Here, the AUO. So, hello. I'm JJ. Uh, it's plastic. Yes. So it can fold. More than a million times. Hi, I'm Jen Vale. I work for E Ink. And this is one of our new foldable prototypes. It's using an all plastic backplane. Um, this is a 10.2 inch display. 220 ppi and it has a bending radius of 7.5 millimeters. My name is Frank Christian, so I'm the CEO of Clearing Displays. What we show here is something that's a historic achievement. Uh, it's, it's an e-reader with text, but at the same time we can show animation in, this, in the same uh, screen. I'd like to let you in on a secret project that we've been working on. Uh, we've partnered deeply with one of the leading OLED manufacturers in the world to create a VR-capable OLED display with 10x more pixels than any commercially available VR display today. And by the way, we can more than double the field of view, right, to take it all the way out here. Um, and I've seen these in the lab, and they're spectacular. It's indeed way, way more pixels. And it's not even what we're going to need in, the, in the, the final display, but it's a, a step, a very large step in the right direction. I'm Larry Weber, okay, I'm one of the old timers at Plasma. I, I've had a, a good time with SID, I was a former SID president, and, and uh, I'm just here for the excitement. Did you invent Plasma? Well, no, I didn't invent it, I was actually a student of the professors that invented it. So, uh, I have a number of inventions, uh, uh, but my inventions were what made it practical in the later days. Uh, I'm Fred Kahn. I'm a member of the program committee for SID, and I started working in liquid crystals before most of you were born in 1967. Because of the orientation, it has rod-like molecules that tend to align parallel to each other, and this creates what we call a optically anisotropic material and with a relatively small electric field you can switch the liquid crystal from one state to another.